<laughs> oh god! Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. I've been looking forward to getting back into this, so let's just get straight into it. One quick thing, as you can see from the amount of money I have, that farming I did in the previous episode actually did pay off. You get the money at the end of the day. That's awesome. <laughs> so, I don't know how much money that's going to be, but it should be useful. Zach View. Previously during the investigation. Oh, I don't even have to recap. Me go to oh, it's so light again. Cut. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. Hey, George. There's at least something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. <laughs> Beware the coffee! It's broken. You're broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got <laughs> scary some <kid>. memories. <laughs> attached scary, scary to kid. Sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Well, I pushed her down the stairs. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie. What's your favorite though? one? Double fist and tits? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why creepy grandpa is so funny to me. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to push it out the stairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a donut. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what? Why? I got a card for Angel Isaac. Cool. And 200 bucks. For a picture of a kid and... Let's not look into that. <laughs> um, I choose this door. Locked. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hear a duggo. Your. Those footsteps didn't match. Your. Hey, is this baby me or another one of the twins? The triplets. That's the secret. Or are you Zach? That could be Zach. Um. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. What? They can't see you if you hold your breath. Okay, that's that's all well and good and all, but wasn't Hurry. I heading into town? Like this. Cover your mouth. What happened? Did I just pass out and start doing this? No. No, screw you. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Okay. Choices don't matter. Hurry. Like this. Yeah. Cover your mouth. Oh. Who just quietly go like this? Why did he go to that side? <laughs> I'm so tempted to let go of the button. Now! <laughs> <laughs> First day of the investigation went well then. Alright, I'll do it properly, whatever. York! You're a fucking idiot, York! Why didn't you hold your breath? Exciting gameplay. Oh! I'm so spooky, scared right now. Oh, I'm so scared. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I don't care. Go on. Just move, you said they can't see you. If you just go. York, what happened to your gun? Just rip his head off. I was battering them to death with a pipe earlier. Come on. They're not scary. <laughs> you can't have me easily kill a bunch of them at the start and then make me scared of them. <laughs> okay, we got past. Uh, that's nice. Who are you? Oh, he doesn't recognize him? Uh, 
Maybe it's not maybe him. Maybe that bullet to the side of the head made him forget stuff. <laughs> this game lingers way too long on shots. <laughs> oh, sleepy time. Sleepy York. <laughs> Look at that slowly moving blanket. <laughs> this is why you don't animate people under the covers. It's really hard to do. <laughs> it looks like crap. Oh, cheating me! Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. Oh, it's it's just a dream. A carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Hmm. How very well, intriguing. That'll probably come back to me eventually. This guy never finishes For a now, cigarette, does coffee. he? He just has a little puff and then puts it back. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. And then we'll get a prediction. There's a proper procedure in the for coffee. everything, right, Zach? Oh yes, absolutely, right, York. Let's look at my suitcase. Oh, different suit colors. Snazzy, looking trendy. <laughs> What's with that sting? <laughs> Ooh, reflections. This impresses me when games can do reflections. Let's shave. Oh, it's just like heavy rain. Looking good, handsome. <laughs> Twelve bucks for shaving. Wish I could get that in real life for shaving. Uh, Clean shaven, we're in a snazzy suit. Let's go get our coffee. Is time progressing? Yeah, the more I dick around, the worse it gets. Alright, let's just... Oh. <laughs> I'm in a rush! Gotta get my coffee! <laughs> I'm sure I'll get something for breakfast. Plus, I'm at full health. Wait, I got a donut in my dream? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just realizing that. Wait. Is it this music? Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning! Your breakfast is ready for you. Oh, sweet! Do, 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 Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this, I'm starving. This is a tune that'll get in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this absurd. Right, <laughs> Look at the middle. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> I'm hoping that that is so will distracting. Bring back guests. <laughs> Having a metal Honestly, spin though, on the background. It's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. What was with those armchairs? Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. You need smaller tables, What's that? Mark. You need smaller tables. The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering <laughs> if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh How's my, me? we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it must be difficult one of these. to run a hotel by yourself. Was that sunny? Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Is this Polly, important? it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh, my, Mr. Morgan. You're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. What did you and think I said? I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. 
Yeah, well, it's just a quick bang. But I'm fine over here. <laughs> Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. Oh. We have to make use of all this space. Let's uh, <sighs> just enjoy the track. Now and tell move me, along. that wound on your face. What happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything uh, at all, God, just is there let another me hotel? Know. I'll help you out in <laughs> any way I can. Do you know there's exactly. another bed and breakfast or something? Help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Oh, God, no. Oh, I suppose I should. Anything else you'd like to I know? I suppose about? I should. Uh, tell me about the shops. Did that just skip everything? It skipped them. <laughs> Why? I didn't press anything. I pressed it once. And I skipped them both. <laughs> okay. Guess I got the information without having to listen to her. Look with interest. Press E. <laughs> sure. Wait, are we actually getting premonitions in the coffee? A deadly premonition. Did you see that, Zach? No! Clear as a crisp spring morning. <laughs> F. K. In the coffee. Fuck! I knew I could get it. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Coffee told me to fuck off. Never fails. That <laughs> fucking face. Well, we may have the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on <laughs> fk in the coffee never fails have some fantastic coffee and find out what your fortune for today is but i just had coffee all right let's have more coffee more coffee unexpected trouble is coming your way your lucky item is the there's lighter. always trouble hitting my way in this job yeah oh. but i'm always up for a little excitement too okay Oh, uh, no, that's enough. Whoa! What happened to that animation there? Um, okay. So I should have the, the lighter ready and equipped. I don't think I have a lighter. I mean, he has one to light his cigarettes, but I don't know if I have one in my inventory. Let's check the weather today. Fine, clear day. Perfect for a walk. Twelve bucks for checking the weather. What's that? Open it. Yeah. <laughs> Got an egg. Sweet. I just stole that old lady's egg. Nice. Screw you, Polly. I'm stealing your eggs. Suck it, Polly. Oh, hi. Oh, they made her see through. They knew what I was going to do. <laughs> I sell dandy goods to gas. I don't have much. So you're a seals girl too, are you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes in. Pretty much, I can sell you stuff. I don't know if it's important to buy stuff. I don't know. What? What? 119 to buy bait. But it's 125 to buy the rod. All right, I'll buy the fishing rod. Can I buy a lighter? Ooh. Guess I need bait, too. Sure. Okay, I don't see a lighter. I think that'll do. You take it easy today, okay. I got your egg, old woman. Oh, sweet, there's the first day <laughs> completed. Total clear time. Oh, from the previous one, I was like, that didn't take me that long. I think there's gotta be more to this. Otherwise, this is gonna be a very short episode. Uh Really? That's a chapter.
Could leave it off here. Nah. The earworm song. Oh, the sheriff's car here. Oh, sweet. A police car. Yes. Our office is open between nine and five. They just give me a car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Yeah. Let's take it for a spin. You look absolutely crazy. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. Why? The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Oh, it's a police car. Values. And also nobody stays at the hotel. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head mm. over to the sheriff's department. I don't know about that. <laughs> no one else stays up here. Like, who would have stolen it? I got a flare. Nice. Oh, I've got to drive it. I never got to this part when I played it at my mate's house. And I barely remember the playthrough I watched. If I'm being honest. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. I have a license, right, Zach? Probably. Talk. So, right. Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. Oh, those bonus you know, features. The ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Yeah, because they Even didn't think they to do, record it and give it. trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Yeah. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. Why? So many new audio and visual appliances were coming Ooh. out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? Get off the road! We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting Wait? some really bad wait? ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited. The guy loves John his DeBella. movies, what can we say? It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. Mm, sorry. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. <laughs> Those lines were dramatically different. I have a funny feeling one was added after the other. In post. <laughs> well, I think I went the wrong way. Maybe there's a bridge down here, though. Can we just take a shortcut? Nice. Hey, I'm here to help! Officer York! Here to help out your town. Don't mind me, just driving over your nice grass. Ramming into your cars. What is that, a time trial? Is that actually a time trial? Bugger off, that's a time trial. The hell? Oh my god, it's a time trial, and this driving is terrible. Okay, alright. Let's do it! Let's speed around town and break the law! Listen to that music! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no, I'm definitely not going to do this time trial, unless this is a really easy one. Shortcuts! Here to solve a murder. Running around town, do 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 Solving murders like a champion. <laughs> Racing against myself. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I'm meant to be a cop. Or whatever. Private investigator, detective, whatever. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> right, Zach? <laughs> that was scary. Just, uh, uh! You really should take your eyes off the road. <laughs> what did I crash into? Oh, I guess my wing mirror clipped that. 
Did I just total the car? Oh, it's got infinite health and gas. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is he? He said he'd be here around nine o'clock. <laughs> I think I saw him speed past the office a few times. <laughs> hey, I did it. What do I get? What? Oh, did I just, instead of doing the mission, did I just drive into the thing I was supposed to arrive at? That's one fine <laughs> building for such a small town. Whoops. <laughs> the exterior woodwork is spectacular. Uh, Don't you agree, Zach? No. I can't believe I did that. Whoopsies. I was trying to race. I just wasted so much time. <laughs> Is he sleeping, standing up? <sighs> and narcoleptic? Uh, uh... <laughs> Do you think this character's gay? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas you McClain, the sheriff's assistant. Cycle, like, uh... Like, that was terrible. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for What's retrieving my lines? belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh no no, just doing my job. I just well, yeah. I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I want to help do everything I can to help. I just can't believe Anna cool. was murdered. <laughs> she was such a bright and lovely girl. Did not you that know her right? Well? She got murdered. Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. Mm. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. Yeah. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Can I look at the yes, body as well? The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but. I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Are you serious? Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. <sighs> Let me know when things are ready. Oh, God, that rock. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and oh, sensitive Oh, is that what type, we're calling it? Totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely nothing wrong with uh, having a gay character. Just, uh... Don't make gay people seem, like, overly prissy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's a little insulting. Be like if you had an Irishman and he was wearing, like, a leprechaun outfit and going, Horty, toity, 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 toity. It's uh, an exaggerated stereotype. And this man's meant to be a cop. And I don't think that these sort of dude bros would be okay with a dude going, dee, 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 down the hall, I wouldn't make fun of him. I'm just saying. Find the fucking keys, you dick! Slap. <laughs> You're fired. It has a southern flying square on it. Okay. No, I haven't seen it, but I'll have a look. Just turn off a random thing. Alright, beep. Whoa! This is where they keep the evidence. Alright. I think that Thomas has nothing to say about me just randomly opening these. Boop. Ah, there they are. So they don't have many files, I suppose. Not many crimes, not many crimes. Can't believe I'm doing a key fetch quest. Ugh. Hey, did a dude drop a squirrel in here? Oh, there we go. Flying squirrel. Got it. A well-organized storage room, no doubt this is Thomas's work too. Whoever he gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. Has he really not observed that he's gay? Because... Back in when this game was made... Yeah, the gay people couldn't get married. You're saying? Is this, is this a gag that they're setting up? I really hope not. Because that's going to be real cringe. More cringe than my jokes, for goodness sake. The emergency exit is locked. Okay. Cool. That's not suspicious. Guess I should go back to Thomas with the keys. I got your keys, bruh. 
Ah, I got your keys. I <laughs> love the way he busts through those doors when you're running. Uh, yep, there you go. The flying squirrel keys. You found the key. There you go. I think so. Is this it? What? Uh, what? You don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. What? This is a Siberian flying squirrel. You said it's it was a flying to a squirrel. Land -based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel. Oh my and has a standing um, tail. Oh my god, he's gonna tell me by squirrels. Tail. Oh my god, this guy's gonna think for squirrels. Okay. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Right, okay. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Yeah, you squirrely bastard. <laughs> look at that look. <laughs> oh, it's so wacky that he knows so much about squirrels. Oh, it's so wacky, guys. So wacky. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna run around. Find whatever bloody keys are lying about this place and just hand them all in at once. This person has probably nothing to do with the investigation. You mean the cop? A curvy teal flying squirrel. Right. I got this one now. Let me guess. I bring that back and you don't know your squirrels, do you? This one is. It's like, oh god. No. No. <laughs> okay, there's another squirrel. Alright. That's kind of a dick move, having the shooting range just right down there, actually. Right where the prisoners have to sleep and stuff. Oh, can I smash? Can I smash? I can't smash. Oh, I can smash! Smash up stuff in the police station! Nice. Oh, Thomas! <laughs> if you tell me this key's wrong, I'ma shoot you. Oh, God! Alright. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't, uh... I didn't think that would actually make them react. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'll shoot Thomas later when I've saved the game. <laughs> Maybe. Here's the curvy tailed one. Is you found the key. Maybe. I don't know That's my squirrels. Right uh. Yes, a southern. Oh, I got squirrel. it right. Thank you so nice. much. I'll bring the files right in. So, please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. There it is. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Mm -hmm. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this 18. year. 18, oh. Her dream was to move out to the city and become This a music model. does not fit. But bam, for the bam, time being, bam, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Mm -hmm. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, mm. they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. True. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Is it? What, what happened? What makes sense? Did, did, you get a, did you get a prediction in the donut? <gasps> On our City plate? Folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him, and some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. <laughs> I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Oh, how embarrassing, because he's a man. It's amazing. What do you but do he's law not, uh... I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have Not judgmental. Know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan. <laughs> the autopsy is ready. You are welcome to accompany food, me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, 
Stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. Can I nibble you might a little think bit this of Thomas's biscuits? This is a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. <laughs> He's staring at his biscuit. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I don't want these episodes to be too long. I think that's a perfect place to leave it off with him just like admiring his biscuit, his uh his sweet roll, whatever the hell that thing was meant to be. <laughs> oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see all you beautiful people next time. Bye-bye.